Hey yogis, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassandra and today I'm doing a heavily requested practice. This is a super quick 10 minute full body flexibility flow. So if you're feeling tight or if you're working on some flexibility goals and it hasn't been going your way, this is a quick sequence you can do pretty much every day because it doesn't take very long and hopefully you should start to see some results. So before we go into it, I wanna say a great big thank you to the people at Elevate Yoga. It's a studio here in Ottawa where I teach. Uh, thank you for letting me use this space to film. I'm pretty much in love <laughs> with this studio space. Okay, let's begin. No props needed. Lie down on your back. So a lot of the poses that I'm going to be doing in this video are poses that I personally do very, very often um, at home most of the time when I want to work on my flexibility. So starting with reclined butterfly, you can bring your feet together, let your knees fall apart. And we're just going to take five breaths here just to get grounded, forgetting about the day you've had or anything else that's on your mind. And you can bring your hands to your belly just so you make that connection with your breath. So feel the breath go all the way underneath your palms. And I find this pose is a really good way for me to check in and notice the areas that feel a little bit tighter than others. Take one more full deep breath here. And then lifting the knees back up, you're gonna pull your right knee into your belly and stretch your left leg to the ground. And really try to pull that right knee into your chest as much as possible as you extend and reach through your left leg, pushing into that left heel. Take a big breath here and then carry that knee over into a twist. So right knee crosses over to the left and you can reach your right arm out to the side. Use your left hand to help guide that right knee down a little bit more. Keep breathing even as you do this. And coming all the way back up to center, you're going to extend your leg straight up to the ceiling, interlace your fingers behind the back of your hamstrings, and instead of focusing on pulling your leg into your belly, I want you to firm up the muscles and push your thigh into your palms and feel your palms resist against it. So this is not an action and emotion that we do often in yoga, but I can guarantee you working on strengthening your hamstrings is an amazing way to also increase the flexibility in the long run. So really push, 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 create that tension of opposites. Keep trying to pull your leg in towards your belly and feel your leg push back against it. Keep doing this for five, four, three, two, one, and now relax the leg and see if you can pull it in a couple inches closer. So creating that tension is one way that we can just increase our flexibility and you might be able to lift the palms up a little higher. One more deep breath and release. Let's switch sides. So right leg straight, bring your left knee into your belly. Squeeze it in, push into your right heel. I'm getting a little into the hip flexors. And we'll carry this over into a twist so your left knee crosses over the body to the right. Reach your left arm out. Try to pin that left shoulder blade on the mat so your collarbones are facing up. This is a spinal twist. So working full body flexibility in the spine, in the shoulders, in the low back, in the hips, and the hamstrings. We're trying to target it all with this flow. Bring it all the way back to center. Straighten your left leg up. So without going super deep into this one, just interlace your fingers behind the back of your thigh and start to push and resist. Keep your right heel grounded on the mat. And if you've never done this before, it might feel a little strange. So your arms are trying to pull that leg in towards your chest and your leg is trying to resist against it, and pushing into the fingers and into the palms. Keep doing this for five, four, three, two, one. Relax the leg and see if you can pull it in a little bit closer. And release, bend into the knees. Let's rock up and find your downward facing dog. So ground the palms to the mat, step your feet back. Hands are shoulder width distance apart, feet are hip width distance apart. 
So if the hamstrings are tight, you might need to bend your knees here and curl your tailbone up to the sky. Don't worry about it too much. You can paddle your feet. Think of lengthening your spine, lengthening through your arms. Reach your right leg up to the sky, bend your right knee, open up your hip. This is your three-legged dog. Squeeze the glutes. See if you can get your right knee up even higher. And then step your right foot forward in between the palms. Let your back knee come down to the mat. Low lunge, stay on the fingertips. Really push the hips forward and down, lifting up through the heart. As you exhale, straighten your right leg into your half splits, hamstring stretch. Pull the heart forward. Bend into your right knee, tuck the back toes under, lift your back knee off the mat, plant your left hand down, reach your right arm up, easy twist. Reaching the arms further away from each other, right hand comes down, walk your palms to the left, turn both feet parallel to the shorter edges of the mat, and you're gonna bend into your right knee, come back up and bend into the other. So just pulse side to side here. One leg will be straight and the other one will be bent. Targeting through the inner groin, inner thighs. And then find some stillness. Walk your hands back in line with the heels and fold. Bring your hands back out in front of you. You're going to turn your heels in, toes out, bend your knees and come up, placing your palms on the tops of your thighs. Use your hands to push your knees open a little wider and you can drop one shoulder down, the other one draws back, inhale and exhale to switch. Once more on each side. Coming back to center, push into the legs, straighten them up, reach your arms all the way up, hands come down to the front of the heart. Look to the top of the mat and step your way up. Inhale, arms rise, palms come together. Exhale, fold forward and down. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms, just step back, downward facing dog. From this down dog, reach your left leg up to the sky, bend your left knee, open up your hip, squeeze into the glutes, try to lift that left knee up even higher, and then step it forward, low lunge, back knee comes down to the floor, come up high onto the fingertips, draw your shoulders down and away from your ears, let the pelvis be heavy. Half splits, straighten your left leg, push down into that left heel, drag it back. Bend into that left knee, tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee off the mat, right hand down, left arm up, easy twist. Push down deep into that left big toe so you're not rolling to the outer edge of your foot. And then left hand comes down, walk your palms to the right side of your mat, turn both feet parallel to the shorter edges and just pulse side to side, just like we did before. One knee bends, the other is straight. And then with both legs straight, you can find your wide-legged forward fold. Walking the hands further back, reaching the crown of the head towards the floor. And try not to let all of your weight go back into the heels. Keep some of it forward into the balls of the feet. Walk your hands out in front of you. Turn your heels in, toes out, bend your knees and place your hands on the tops of your thighs. Just like before, drop one shoulder down, roll the other back. Use your hands to push your knees open a little more. Switching sides. And again. And last one, dropping the shoulder down. Push into the feet, straighten the legs, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands at the heart. Looking forward to the top of the mat, step your way up. And let's take our flow. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, swan dive, fold forward. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, downward facing dog. And now from this downward dog, come forward into your plank pose and keep your toes curled under. Just let your hips sink down, pull your heart forward. Draw your shoulder blades behind you, so a variation of upper dog. 
and then exhale, come all the way back, downward facing dog. Let's do that one more time, inhale, keep the toes curled under, back bend, pull the heart forward, and then bend your elbows, let your hips come down to the mat. You're gonna bring your fingertips off, kind of at a 45 degree angle, more towards the top corners of your mat and wider, like spider fingers, you're gonna push the fingers into the ground to lift up. So a deeper back bend, you control how deep you go into this one. Push your pubic bone into the floor. And exhale, release. Let's press back to a wide-legged child's pose. Big toes together, knees as wide as you would like them. The wider they are, the deeper the stretch. Extend your arms forward and fold. Three breaths here. And walk your hands in. So for these 10 minute flows, I like to finish them in a seated meditation rather than laying down in Shavasana, but it's completely up to you. Place yourself in a way where you can relax and settle. And just notice how you feel now as opposed to when you first stepped onto your mat. Giving yourself these few moments to thank yourself for making the time to practice. Sometimes that's the hardest part. And thanking your body for moving in this way no matter how challenging this may have been for you. Can you find something to be grateful for and proud of? Let's bring the palms together at the front of the heart. Bowing forward, namaste. Thank you so much, yogis, for doing this really quick flexibility flow with me. If you would like to see more of these kinds of practices on my channel, please leave me a comment down below and let me know exactly what you would like to see more of from me. I'm happy to put some things together for you. If you are new to my channel, or even if you've been following me for a while, please do make sure that you subscribe, clicking that red subscribe button underneath where you're viewing this video. Um, it's totally free, it's super simple, and it's a really great easy way to support free yoga on the internet. Thank you all so very much. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.